This is a microprocessor and it is made up of millions of transistors. Have you ever wondered that why did we ended up calling this tiny component as transistor? Let's see how was this component put to use for the first time. A voice signal from a microphone was applied on the input side of this device. And on the output side, a stethoscope or a speaker was connected. Now it was observed that this device was not only following the input signal, but it was also amplifying it. Thus, it provided signal amplification. Prior to transistors, vacuum tubes were used for signal amplification. However, they had their own set of problems, which we'll discuss on some other day. The important thing is that this newly invented device, which was considered to be a dual of vacuum tube, didn't have any of these issues. And it was way better than vacuum tubes. The term transconductance was considered for vacuum tube, thus its dual transresistance was considered for this device. Also, a technical report of Bell Labs stated that this newly invented device had the transconductance or impedance of a device having gain. Thus, the name transistor is partly derived from the term transresistance. But what about the rest of the name? Let's see what John Pierce, the person who suggested this name, had to say. The way I provided this name was to think of what the device did. And at that time, it was supposed to be the dual of the vacuum tube. The vacuum tube had transconductance. So the transistor would have transresistance. And the name should fit in with the names of other devices, such as ferristor and thermistor. And I suggested the name transistor. So that's how we ended up calling this tiny yet extremely powerful component as transistor. Now the emitter is called emitter because it emits charges, collector because it collects the charges. Then why is this region called base? And how did we end up using this symbol for transistor? These things will be covered in an upcoming video on this channel. Like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye world.